Hi everyone, I am Piyush Vairade. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the gate in data science and artificial intelligence. So as you all know that ISC Bangalore is conducting or organizing the gate 2024 and they have introduced a new paper that is gate in data science and artificial intelligence. Okay, so we'll see what are the, what is the syllabus for the DA and, and who are the eligible students, right? So if you go to this particular website that gate 2024.is.ac.in, this is the official website of gate. If you just go to the this particular gate papers, here you can see days paper and syllabus. So we'll discuss about the syllabus part first, and then what are the combinations you can take along with it. Okay, so let us first discuss about the gate syllabus and how we can prepare for it. Okay. Let's click on this particular section, and here you can see one new page will open up. So if you scroll down here, you can see data science and artificial intelligence. Okay. And so just click on this. So here you can see the syllabus for data science and artificial intelligence for gate 2024 right now if you observe this uh, syllabus carefully it's uh, not that much as compared to other co other branches right here you can see so so total there are seven sections first probability statistics algebra calculus part programming data algorithm database and machine learning and AI. So out of seven if you observe these three are based on mass and sets completely right so your paper is going to be a mass and set heavy, right? Then we have programming and data search algorithm, then database management, warehousing, machine learning, and AI, right? So if you observe out of seven sections, there are three sections based on math and stack. So you can expect around 40% of weightage from these three sections only, right? So if you see the pattern for this gate DA, so 50 marks, 15 marks is for aptitude, right? That is same for all the branches, then you can expect 85 marks from this syllabus. Okay. Yeah. And now, if we look at the other courses that is programming and data such as algorithm, they have just mentioned programming in Python, right? They have not specified which are the topics which is important for this particular Python course. Okay. So we will discuss what are what can we expect from this particular Python sections also. And yeah, and we'll see how to prepare for it. Here you can see data structures algorithm syllabus from here to here. Then we have database management system and warehousing. So basic of ER diagram relation models, right? That is SQL part. So they are just mentioned SQL part. They are not specified what are the important topics, right? What are the important topics, right? SQL is pretty vast. Advanced SQL is there, intermediate SQL is there, or basic SQL is there. But I'm expecting this paper is for all the branches, like uh, most of the branches are eligible, like mechanical, the electronics, electrical, even physics students can also appear for this gate paper. So I'm expecting uh, very, very basic question from this particular sections, right? Programming, then database, ML, and AI. Very basic questions you can expect, right? But from this above three section, that is probability, statistic, linear algebra, and calculus, I would say a very good amount of question. Good amount means good level of question you can expect, right? So most difficult question can be framed from these of the topics, right? And here. And from this topic, maybe some basic level question or intermediate level question you can expect from this, right? So, and here you can see for AI also. They have given machine learning, uh, detailed syllabus mentioned. So, we don't need to go out of this particular syllabus. You just go to topic wise, what is there in this particular section, and that's it, right? But for the programming part, so Python is mentioned. So, we don't know what are the important concepts. Here, SQL is mentioned. So, SQL is pretty vast. We don't know how much to cover. Okay? So, I would say, so first, initially, try to tell which are the important topics in this particular section. That's it. Then you can go deeper into that. Right? So as I'm an uh, instructor at IIT Madras BS degree, so you can see this all the syllabus is in line with our IITM BS degree. Right? So those who are students of IITM BS degree, so they can relate that this particular probability statistics with algebra calculus is part of their maths for data science one and two and stats for data science one and two so these four subjects usually they uh, they have already taken in the foundation courses that is our uh, first year course right so you can expect that you can see like most of the topics are covered in that uh, in those courses only right now for programming and data structure algorithms, we have intro to Python course, right? For IITM BS, then we have PDS course also. So this is basically a subset of both the courses. So yeah, it is easier for uh, those who have done these two particular courses. Then we come to database management system and warehousing. So we have DBMS course, right? In, in 
IIT. So you can see most of the topics are covered in this particular course only. So we have machine learning and AI. So for this, you can also go to MLT course, right? IIT MBS course. So yeah, that will be sufficient, right? So as you can see, like most of the topics uh, they have mentioned, but if you uh, see carefully, like 40% weightage will be expected like on this particular three topics. So the student which are having mathematics background, as I can see, if we go back to the, our uh, portal, then we can see like math students are also eligible for this data science paper, right? If you just click on this super combinations, then who can take the uh, DA? So DA, if we, if someone has taken DA as a first paper, so CS branch student, electronics, electrical, then mathematics student, yes, you can see mathematics, mechanical, right? then statistics students, and then engineering science student. So they all can opt for data science this paper, okay? As a paper one, right? If your branch is mechanical or electrical, if you're preparing for that, so here you can see a mechanical student can take uh, this aerospace DA course also, right? Similarly, electronic students can also take if there is a paper one. If they are selected as a paper one, then they can select DA as a paper two, right? So, yeah, right? So, yeah, based on your interest, you can uh, select your paper, but I would strongly suggest. For a student, those who are studying in third year, right? So get allow us to appear for third year students also. For a student they are studying in third year, I will I will strongly recommend him to attempt get DA. So attempt this DA paper as a paper one. Okay. I would say if you are not from CS background, if you are from non-CS background, and if you want to go in the data science part and you are in third year. So I would strongly recommend to go for this DA paper alone, okay? Yes, you can go for your core branches also, but you can take it as second paper, just try to attempt it. But I would strongly recommend just uh, prepare for this get DA and give a attempt, okay? So it will also help you, helpful in your placements also, okay? So this syllabus is pretty much called a data, data science foundation, right? So if, if you are preparing for a placement, so having a good score in get DA, will boost your chances of getting place. So I will strongly recommend a third year student to uh, go for DA, right? So all the eligible, like if you feel you are eligible for this paper, please go for it, okay? Now, if we see what are the opportunities in after the gate PF, right? Now we have discussed the syllabus of uh, gate data science and additional intelligence. Now let us discuss the scope or opportunities after this, right? What is the scope of this data science gate DA paper, right? So first thing is you can get into MTech in IITs, right? Or in other, like all the engineering colleges, private colleges or autonomous colleges. So MTech in data science or an AI, you can go directly through it. Even the CS people will also be eligible for this, right? So yeah, so if you are a CS student, so I would strongly uh, suggest you, like uh, if you have already prepared for, started preparing for a computer science, so kindly uh, continue with your preparation and go for, CS paper also, and you can you like second paper as a DA just can attempt, right? But you can directly go for CS, right? Because uh, for if you even if you want to do MTech in data science, you will be eligible for this particular nothing. Okay? Then the next opportunity is MS or PhD, right? MS and PhD. So I would say MS slash PhD, right? PhD, right? Now those students who are not from CS IT background. Right, they have very good chance of doing MS and PhD because most of the projects that are coming to IITs are based on the data science part only, right? So, like for example, if you are a mechanical student, so lots of projects are coming in automation industry or robotics also, where requires some uh, mechanical uh, knowledge, or even you can say like automobile or even marine engineering, right? So, basically, it's uh, just a mechanical. Uh, application only so there also is application of data science is needed so if you want to do go in the research area in your core domain also the research in your core domain that it may be mechanical or electronics right so this paper will really help you by right, really boost your chances of getting ms and phd in the iits right yeah so it depends on the projects also like how many projects are there what are the, what are the scope of the project based on that uh, uh, your chances will be there, 
Would I strongly suggest? Like if you have not started preparation yet for uh, your core courses, so kindly you can go for DA. Okay. And yeah, if what yes, you have started your preparation for your core branches, so I will suggest you to stick for your uh, core branches domain, and then you can take this DA as a second paper. Okay, and you can do it in a day because like most of you will have a good background in mathematics. So you can uh, attempt based on that and just few topics are mentioned here. So even if you just cover the basic of this, so I think you will be eligible, you will, you will be able to qualify the exams. Okay. Yeah, that's it. But I would strongly suggest third year student to appear for gate DA only if you are not started preparation for your core domain knowledge. Okay. So it's a very good opportunity for third year student. It will help you in a placement. It will give you a clear idea for next time gate also. Right. So it's a win-win opportunity for third year student. And those who are in the final year are completed. So if they are, if you are looking forward to do MTech in data science and AI, so you can directly go for B. Right. So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the, you know, you can comment it below. Okay. I can make one more video right, based on your questions. Right. So yeah, uh, that's it from my side. Uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will keep updating you on this gate paper or suppose like if I get a time, I can also discuss few important topics from this, right? So I'm pretty well versed with all the concepts because I'm already teaching this particular courses at IIT. So yeah, uh, if you need any help, so you can just comment below. I can also cover a few topics. I also provide you some tutorials or you can, we can also conduct some uh, practice questions also. We can also take a few practice questions. Yeah. So yeah, let me know if you need any help from Mansit, uh, happy to help. Yeah, thank you.